clenching the jaw and the stomach hurts and the stomach gets tight and the intestines can't work and you get constipated. So alignment is all the time when you're sitting in your car or when you're lying here and that's what we're going to walk through right now. Alignment for corpse pose, which is shavasana is what we call it. It's usually done at the end of any kind of yoga class so that you can now take in the work you just did. But we're going to do it right now. One shoulder blade lifts and pulls down your back. And if you don't know what I'm, when I can physically describe it, I will. And I come over to you and I'll just show you. So look over here. So what's going to happen, you're on your back. You're going to literally lift your shoulder blade up and pull it down your back on both sides as you're lying here. And this is what it'll end up feeling like. So arms are out a little bit. They're not, you're not on the cross, and your arms are not next to your body. Okay? But there's some energetic gills here, and we want that space open. Now, don't try to help me. I know that's hard for some people. There. Now, that's the difference. So you're going to pull those down by yourself, but with my help, that's what it feels like. Okay? So don't help me. There. Now, you can feel a little opening in the sternum area and the lung area. When you start breathing, it's going to be a lot easier when you're lying in this position. And if any of our props bother you, you can move over. Now, if you can do that, that would be great. If not, There. Mm -hmm. okay. So you get used to learning even when you're in your bed at home. Pull those shoulder blades down and it automatically gives your um, lungs space to breathe. Okay. And we're, we're in a receiving position. So the palms are up, receiving the energy in and out the body. Relax, no stiffness. Just totally relax. Now, the next part is beginning to notice your breath, okay? simply by watching your chest rise and fall. So eyes are closed, and you're only watching your chest from the inside. How, how high does it rise up? How much air do you take? Where does it come from? Is all the air getting used, expelled out, or are you holding on to some stale air at the bottom of your lungs? Now we're going to do what's, what's called a true breath. We're going to find your true breath through one exercise. And you're going to take a deep breath and let it out and see how much your chest expands. And you're going to do this several times, just noticing what your own expansion feels like. And you know, this is an exercise for you to get to know you. So take a deep breath if you want. See, how much air can I get in there? Whew, where is it coming from? What muscle groups control the breathing on the chest and the back and the lower abdomen? Now on your next natural exhale, do not consciously take an inhale. Is that yourself, Mika? Tweeting like a bird, where is it? Do you want to, it's, you, we open my pocketbook and bring my phone up. Which is it? Blue? The white one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Anyone else have a cell phone on? So 
on the next natural 